and you're also involved in archaeology. And within that, I know that you found or you discovered many things. And there's a question I wanted to ask you that mean you spoke off camera when it comes down to findings and your the, the discoveries or the things that you've seen in Israel. What would you say to a person that is um, searching, that, that, does, that does not know Christ, they're just exploring the Christian faith, and they want to know, is, is there like evidence, hardcore evidence to solidify the Christian faith in any way or what the Bible says Christianity is? Yeah, certainly. I mean, when we come to one of the verses in the Bible, 1 John 1, 1, it says the things which are from the beginning, the things which are ears have heard or eyes have seen, our hands handled we beheld and our hands handled concerning the word of life. So it tells us from the beginning, the people said, this, just don't take it by faith. I mean, we have, everybody has faith. We have faith that a car starts in the morning, the sun rises, that, you know, we go to the doctor and get a, a prescription, that the doctor, you know, really has those credentials. He did mess up, but, you know, we just trust him. And mm -hmm. then we get that prescription we can't even read and take it to a pharmacist and, uh, he fulfills it, gives us medicine. It's not poison. We have mm. trust that it's, we take it, you know, by faith. Every, we, do, we live by faith. Yeah. But the object of faith is what's important. And when it comes to the Bible, who says, you know, believe this? Well, God says it. Well, who's he? What, what proof does he have that he's there? Well, he's given us that proof. And he's given, he, you know, 2,000 years ago when he came to this earth, he left behind footprints, and those footprints can be found in the historical events that that were that happened. Uh, there's more evidence for, I think, the biblical faith, whether you talk about Judaism or Christianity, the faith that is in the Bible, than there is for anything else in history. I mean, the, the, the documents are there. Uh, when you go to the Holy Land and you dig, and not just in Israel, but in other places, like ancient Asia Minor, this would be Turkey and Greece and Rome and other places like this, uh, you find these evidences of things that happened that the Bible documents. Now, it tells us that they happened, uh, and but there's a theological explanation of what was going on at that time. But I, I say, look, if the people who wrote the Bible were careful enough to give us these facts. They didn't mess up the facts. Mm -hmm. they're, they're reporting real things, eyewitness events. Why wouldn't they be just as careful with the message they have to give? Mm -hmm. I mean, if you're going to lie about, about what happened, I can't trust you about your interpretation of yeah, those of things. Mm -hmm. But if you're that careful in your research, then why can't I believe that you're careful also with reporting these events? Mm. And uh, that's what we find over and over again uh, in great detail. Yeah. So archaeology doesn't prove the Bible, but it gives us evidence of its reliability. More it's weight. trustworthy, mm -hmm. yeah, so that we can depend on its message. Now we have to believe that message, and that's a matter of faith. Mm -hmm. But again, uh, we live by faith. If, if you can believe a doctor for a prescription, why can't you believe Jesus who has all this evidence behind him that he was actually here. No one that I know doubts that he existed. Mm -hmm. And and we cannot uh, find his bones because he didn't leave any behind. Mm -hmm. There's an empty tomb. And all of history, I, mean, I have a friend at Liberty University is now publishing his research on the resurrection. The first volume is over a thousand pages called The Evidences. Oh, this wow. is Dr. Gary Habermas. Mm -hmm. So you can look that up. It's B&H Publishers. And he's got three more volumes on this to come. Mm -hmm. There's so much data on this uh, from so many different uh, areas of research and sources. So it's the most documented and well-attested fact of history. So if, if Jesus rose from the dead, no one else ever has and he claims to be God himself who can give us eternal life, why wouldn't we believe that? Mm -hmm. All right? I mean, it's, uh, I, you know, for me, the confirmation came and how he changed my life. Mm -hmm. And everybody who's put their trust in him has moved from an area of just simple selfishness, things we call sin, doing their own thing. Nobody can tell me what to do. You know, my life's my own to a place where you say, my life 
I've been bought with a price. I'm mm-hmm. not my own. Mm-hmm. I've got to glorify him in my body. Mm-hmm. And with everything I do, uh, every choice I make, and who does that yeah. except someone who has been changed from the inside out? So God says we become a new man or a new creation. A new creation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, I saw that happen in my own life. Yeah. And then I began to be involved with all these studies that helped me confirm this. And then the digs that from the earth itself produce that evidence. Mm-hmm. So yes, you know, the, the, there's faith and then there's faith that's founded on the facts. And I've told people before, I said, every, every religion makes claims. And all religions can't be true because they yeah. contradict each other. Mm-hmm. So which one's true? Well, the one that has the best evidence. Yeah. And I can guarantee you that the the faith that is founded on the Bible mm-hmm. has the best evidence to support it. Amen.